in the hindsight kung balikan ko ang panahon noon at ngayon kung hindi lang siya tumagal ng pagka-presidente kung hindi lang siya naging diktador na matagal pinaka the best na presidente ng dumaan Marcos yung biyayang dagat niya pati yung masagana 99 that was the time na hindi tayo nag-import talaga ng pagkain si Tang yun talaga sundin na lang natin yun kasi yun ang gumana huwag na tayo na mag-imbinto ng bago kasi yung iba naman dyan huwag natin sundin yan baka sabihin sunod-sunod uh, lang tayo para para uh, Tinitignan ko na yung mga, naghiram ako ng material. Marcos, Masagana 99, pati yung, ano yun, Biyayang Daga. President Rodrigo Duterte says he gave the go signal to bury former President Ferdinand Marcos at the libingan ng mga bayani hours after the Supreme Court allowed the hero's burial for the late dictator. Well, I thought I saw Bongbong yesterday in Tacloban. Sabi ko, it's your choice. Sabi niya na, ano, same question like you. Uh, can we now proceed? Well, yes, you can. The President adds, quote, I said before, I will not take my word back. As a lawyer, I stick by what the law says. The law says that uh, it uh, soldiers and ex-presidents, yung namatay, o paski hindi siguro ex, basta yung presidente ka, doon ka ilibing. Now, the question of this discussion about the dictatorship of Marcos is something which cannot be determined at this time. It has to have history. Kasi ho, yung nasaktan, and it was a contention really of a political fight, initially, then turned sour because of uh, the power struggle of the ruling political families in this country. That part of the sins of Marcos has yet to be proven. Marcos' human rights victim, former party list representative Neri Colmenares, had earlier appealed to the president to just drop his order altogether. No date has been set for the burial. The Marcos family will shoulder burial costs that will exceed the government budget.